play zone. Don't want your team to be flat footed. Got to be on the toes, talking, communicating, solving problems, using good vision. Elston handing off for Jones. Gave up the dribble. Hummel draped on him. Here's Halls. 438 left of this contest. One point game. Shot clock at five. The swing for Pritchard underneath. And a whistle as he is held up. And on shooting foul now. Shove before the pass could be inbounded. Teams now in the bonus. Around and out by the freshman. That's what it usually comes down to in a rivalry game. Who gets stops, Dave? Who takes care of the basketball and can convert from the charity strike? Purdue trying to retake the lead. Swinging in. No, not there by Moore. Each one Moore got a pretty good look for himself and a quick step. 69-68 Indiana. Dumas finds the open man in Jones. The turnaround. Short and Hummel grabs the board. Tough gamble there by Verdell Jones. Hummel hard drive pulls up and got a lot of iron, but it drops in for him, and the Boilermakers have retaken the lead. Well, that basket by the Boilermakers was a result of Verdell Jones gambling in the backcourt, which broke down the shell defensively, got Indiana in rotation, and led to the open jumper. He was a step slow Hummel. going for the steal, you're right. Can't, can't fly by or gamble like that. Dumas. And his pass is tipped and stolen away by the Boilermakers. Coming up on three minutes to play. Indiana trying to pick off their state rival here. This isn't even rivalry week. That's not until next week. More long, long one and far too strong. Maybe not the shot the Boilermakers wanted there. 245 left. Well, there's stretches where Purdue gets away from putting the ball down low to Jawan Johnson or even Robbie Hummel at 6'8. You can post him up, give yourself a chance to get fouled, get a high percentage look, make Indiana collapse, but then a kick out, standstill jumper. Foul will go against Robbie Hummel, and he's not happy about that at all. Flop in the second half, Derek Elston, a freshman at 6'9 at the line here. And in the second half, it's been Jawan Johnson, a lot of those at the line, taking over for the Boilermakers. And another missed front end of a one and one. Those are costly. Empty possessions for the Hoosiers. Short gives off. They swing up top for Grant. Kramer drives to the foul line, hummels the open man, and he brings in a three pointer. Junior to junior. Make that senior to junior. Is that right? Senior to junior. Senior right? to junior. Two upperclassmen. A little junior with a huge three. Jones with a hard drive and fouled by Jawan Johnson who tried to seal him off. The one here for Jones. And another miss. Followed up by Waffle. That won't fall. So they're missing the free throws lab down the stretch. You almost have to wonder if Indiana starts to swallow the all of it a bit here. Starts to feel that pressure almost as though they know they're not supposed to win a game like yeah, this. It looks it. And on the flip side, Purdue has been here with the upperclassmen, the success they expect to win. Over the short jumper drains that one. Another big shot by a Boilermaker. And that's another junior. Well, yeah, it's all upperclassmen here taking over the game in the final two minutes. Coming up on a one-minute mark. Who wants the ball for the young Hoosiers? Jones does. He bags it. That creates some game pressure. Allows Indiana to get more full court defensive schemes as well. Hoosiers back in the man-to-man -man now. Shot clock at 20. Moore makes 
Sulub and hits the duck, stays up, keeps his dribble, and now a timeout by the Boilermakers. Good dude to read and react. It could be Hummel, it could be Johnson, as well as Etwan Moore. Moore working off the screens along the baseline. Up well, five to shoot. Etwan Moore got it up. High up for it, Jawan Johnson as he goes racing into the corner, and Indiana will have the basketball. Here, well, Jordan Holes alertly here, able to not only secure the ball, but then get the timeout. Purdue, Indiana has to go a long way to the basket. In for Holes. There's Verdell Jones. I expect him to get it. Let's see if Purdue tries to play straight up. Jones spins, takes oh. it hard, left it short. Hummel at the rebound, waiting to get fouled. The best foul shooter in the conference at 90%. And shooting two. In the second half for the Boilermakers, Hummel makes the pair. 77-72. Rivers has to hustle. Off to Jones for a three. He got it. 4.8 seconds left, two-point game. Enough for the quick steals. We look at Verdell Jones, drain one from downtown, shredding the nets. We lead it by two, under five seconds left. Kramer looking for someone to cut. It's Hubble. And immediately fouled. At Assembly Hall, and Hubble finally misses one. For four seconds to get the ball up the floor in the three-point range. One bounce per second if you advance it quickly. Need to go north-south, though, rim to rim. You can't go sideline to sideline. Jones at midcourt. One second to get it off. Got it up in time. And missed it. And Purdue hangs on for the win. Verdell Jones had a shot at it to tie it up and send it to overtime. But Purdue wins it 78-75.